Hello, 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 darling. Yeah, good to see you guys. You well? So, what's the most unusual thing that you guys have done for charity then? I took your clothes off once. Did you really? Yeah. Only the once? Twice. Twice. <laughs> the full Monty film? Calm down, calm down. <laughs> I did it for, um... There's a serious side to this, yes. Harriet. I did it once for prostate cancer and once for a testicular cancer, because both of my friends had uh, mm. awful disease and things. So yeah. there we are. But it took me three months to get in shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I wear a baggy jacket. You're very brave. <laughs> very You're very brave. Were you brave? No, because I would have frightened people if I had done that. <laughs> um, probably the most unusual thing I've ever done for charity is to eat a donut yeah. without licking my lips. Oh. Mm. That's quite And good I much. had to eat about four. <laughs> 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 because have you ever tried to eat a donut without licking your lips? Can you show us later, Les? I can. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, of course, a lot of people now. I've done the full Monty, which was on Children in Need, but we have a lady here today who did something really unusual for the WIs. It was so successful all over the world. People were saying. Wow, this is amazing. Do you want to know more? Well, let's find out as we welcome Miss February from the Calendar Girls, Angela Baker. Now, what was it like? I mean, standing there naked and someone taking pictures of you? It was OK, yeah. really. Yes, we were all there together, so we, we weren't on our own when we did it. And it gave you a lot of confidence, didn't it? It did, didn't yes, it? yeah. And why did, why did you do it? Um, well, we wanted to raise money for Leukaemia Research Fund mm -hmm. because my husband, John, died of non-Hodgkin's mm, lymphoma. Yeah, and uh, we thought it was a fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. And we're all members of the WI. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, Tricia Stewart had the idea, who was Miss October. Yeah. And uh, we, we took our clothes off and we were doing the crafts of WI. Yeah, it was in amazing. The news. <laughs> I know. And I think it sold nearly a million copies. We were talking about a calendar outselling all the famous ones, the Pirellis and all that type we did, of stuff. Yes. Wonderful. Let's have a look in your bag. Let's see what shopping is uh, all about oh, in your shopping, home. Shopping, yes. Do you like a bit of cooking then? Oh, like... yes, I have a double. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll have a double. Mm -hmm. yes. OK, that's very good. And we'll be talking all about the various things that she got up to throughout the course of her <laughs> time being on the front of the calendar, <laughs> or in the middle of the calendar. <laughs> now, Miss February, tell us yes. what you brought along. Um, uh, sultanas, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and potato, leek, um, chicken. Brie mm -hmm. and spinach. Wow. Uh, spinach because it's my favourite vegetable. I think when you eat it as well, it, it makes you feel good. It's giving mm. you lots of iron. Uh, cheese because I'm a real cheese on Yes, any Me kind too. of cheese. Yeah. And chicken because you tend to do the boring things with it, and it would be interesting to see what the experts do. Okay. And how okay. much did you spend? Uh, on that, actually, uh, quite good. Four pounds ninety-nine. That's yes. excellent. Excellent. Great bag. Happy with that, Les? Very happy. You obviously <laughs> thought that uh, you're going down the right route there, aren't you? All those combinations—they mm. seem to work so well together. Okay. Thank you. Well, well, life didn't stop. You know, you had a lot, someone to lean on throughout the course of, you know, when you were going through your very, very sad time, and uh, he ended up being your husband. Oh, didn't he, he did, yes. Yeah. Eight weeks. So Eight no weeks. Oh, oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome <laughs> Reverend Charles Knowles. <laughs> Really nice so, Charles, you were there for Angela, someone to kind of just come to and chat, but you were best friends with her husband for a while, too, weren't you? Um, yes, I was at university with her mm -hmm. husband, and when John was going out with Angela, mm. um, I was one of the others. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The third party. It took me ages yeah. before I could support her because yeah. she didn't tell us John had died yeah. and she didn't tell us she was doing the calendar. It was only yeah. when the BBC told me. Oh, wow. <laughs> and did you look and think, oh, hello? Well, I thought I'd better have a look. <laughs> <laughs> and I realised what I'd been missing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look in your bag then. No, it's, <laughs> it's hot in here A day with the pro vicar, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, All on. right then. Beautiful. Now, what have you brought along here? Sorry, Charlie. I, I need some help with some puddings. Oh, mm -hmm. right. So I brought along some sweet things. Um, because I want to start at the beginning, I've got the A, B, and C of fruits. Mm -hmm. right. So I've got A for apricots, B for bananas, yep. C for cherries, mm -hmm. and then something to add some texture, uh, some rolled oats, and some mascarpone, and just to add a bit of bite. Some yes. rum. A little bit oh, of man. rum. Yes. Good. Man. Yeah, we like a little bit. How much did you spend then, Charles? Um, well, I was either one penny better or worse than Angela. Mm. Five pounds exactly. Oh, oh there you I go. I think that's pretty good, don't you? <laughs> it's good to have him going doing the shopping, isn't it, Ange? <laughs> God, dear, I'd like to see you push a trolley round. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Ben? Oh, it's a great bag. Yeah, <laughs> <You're> happy. <laughs> 
<laughs> ABC of fruit and all, Phil. Whoa. <laughs> Not much to drink there, is there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, Liv, tell us what are you going to cook for Angela over here? <laughs> OK, I'm going to do a very, very simple spinach soup with um, a sort of chilli butter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do sesame chicken with a spinach salad. I'm going to do melting brie with a leek and sultana chutney. And... Maybe a pizza. Maybe a pizza. Heaven. Maybe a pizza. That Heaven sounds, sounds fantastic. Sounds delicious. Yes. Well done. Yes. Oh, very nice indeed. Ooh, <laughs> listen to them all, Phil. You and Charles have got some serious competition. What are you going to do with your sweet bag? Right, I think we're going to do banana, hot banana toffee fudge muffin mm -hmm. with, wait for it, <laughs> with rum. We're going to do um, mascarpone white wine poached apricots. We'll do black cherry stew with floating islands and caramel. Ooh. We'll do um, honey and apricot muffins, and we'll do a trifle with all the bits left over. Ooh. Sounds, sounds good. That sounds good. average. <laughs> that sounds average. That sounds average, doesn't <laughs> it? Uh, you'll never do it in 20 minutes. Well, we'll find out. As I say, ready, steady, cook. Ooh, <clears throat> <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, spinach and chilli soup, how about that? How about a lovely bit of uh, chicken cooked off with a beautiful melting brie accompanied by a sultana and leek chutney? The potatoes, I don't know what Les is going to do with the potatoes, but you're guaranteed it's going to taste absolutely delish. What about Phil? We've got the sweet department over here today. Poached peaches in red wine, toffee bananas. We've got mascarpone. It's going to go into a kind of a... It's, it's almost like a nicker block of glory, isn't absolutely. it, Phil? Absolutely. Yeah, all sorts of things. And we've got our lovely cherries down there, and we've got some lovely rum. A hint of rum always brings something alive. Lots of lovely dishes coming your way in a very short space of time. In fact, 19 and a half minutes. OK, let's go then, Les. We're talking chicken here. All right, so let's first of all <clears> do... <throat> you know, we've got a lovely piece of chicken here, and I would pro You know, what you can do, when you've got it on the bone like this, it's nice to cook it in one piece. Mm -hmm. We probably wouldn't cook in the time. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off... You've got the joint there, yeah? yeah? So you can just follow that and just remove that. And okay. you don't want to waste that because I'm just actually just going to chop the meat off a little bit of that and then just put it in here for my stock for oh, my lovely. soup. Oh, lovely. OK. Yeah, why not? So Use give that, that a wash. Yeah, and and what do you call it? Do you call it a breast, a supreme of chicken? or? Uh, what this would be a supreme of chicken, okay. yes. Um, and also, mm. I'm not going to put the skin in because that will be quite fatty. Mm -hmm. OK? How do you do it? Oh, so, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What are you doing there, girl? What are you doing? What are you doing? She, could, she didn't know how to work me tap, but no, she's got going now. That's OK. OK, so I'm just going to slice the chicken up. OK, so you're saying you're not using the skin. No, because... I'm not going to put the skin in the slot because it might be a bit fatty. OK. okay. Good point. Um, I want to reduce the fat. And I'm just yeah. going to now put the chicken in here. What I'd like you to do, Angela, yeah. is get a lime, squeeze it over the top and crush me some garlic. Okay. OK. Meanwhile, back at the range, I'm going to wash my hands really well. Yeah, OK, you can do yeah. that, Les. I'll allow and you. And I'm going to now... <clears throat> Are you comfortable um, with that? You OK? Yeah, yeah. OK, nice and slow. Yeah. Nice, they're so sharp, they are. aren't they? Here oh, we are, gonna... my love. Squeeze that over there. Okay. And I... what's the idea of putting the lime on the chicken? Just you to get use... a little bit of marinade. You could use lemon, you could use orange. We're going to do garlic and a little soy bit sauce. of soy sauce, a bit of sesame oil. OK, yeah. there you go. So do you want me to give her all of those things then, Liz? Yeah, that would be okay, great. A little gotta... bit, not too much soy sauce. A little bit of sesame, sesame oil, oil there. Right. Just a touch of soy, if I can right. find that soy. There we are. Ames, I just want to talk about cooking this spinach, actually. I'll get in a second, yeah. We've washed the spinach because I want to cook some for the pizza. Mm -hmm. So when you cook spinach, you don't want to put it in loads of water. Get the pan hot with a bit of oil and butter. Put your washed spinach in, which has got the water attached to the leaves. Mm -hmm. Enough steam. Enough to sort of steam it. Okay. And then I just stir fry it for a bit, and then your spinach will wilt and be ready to use. There you go. Nice little yeah. tip there. Little splash of yeah, sesame uh -huh. oil. OK, touch of garlic. Crush one of those up right, there. Well We've done. got a garlic crush. If you're perfectly happy with that. And I've got some soy sauce here for you. Phil, um, you won't be using your soy anyway. Here we are, my love. There Thank we are, a little you. bit of a splash and marinating. How important is marinating, Les? We, we, well, we often sort of bang on about it on the programme, but just to tell everybody at home... You know, even... It, it does add <clears> flavour <throat> to it. I mean, even chicken, even 20 minutes sitting in a... Even a few minutes sitting in a yeah. marinade will give a little bit of flavour. Obviously, things like beef and hardier pieces of meat sure. need longer, yeah, yeah overnight. <clears> um, <throat> and it's even nice to sort of marinate things like root vegetables and things before you cook them to get the flavour in. OK, But it's absolutely. not the be all and end all, OK? Look, that's Lovely. beginning to wilt and that's nearly ready to put on my pizza. Beautiful. I'll okay. come back and see you both shortly. OK. Let's go down to the Red Tomato Kitchen. Remember, Phil's doing all sorts of wonderful things with his, uh, with his dessert okay. bag here Sorry. today. Um, we're poaching the peaches and he's got little bits of... Uh, 
put chilli in there, fill a bit dry of lime. Chili, not a lot. Yeah. Lots and lots of vanilla. And I've also added some brown sugar in there as well, Ames. OK, just look at that. We've got the vanilla in there, we've got the peaches, we've got limes that have been sort of cut up in half. All sorts of things. A little bit of rum things. in there, a little bit of rum in that one. OK. Right. Mm. And... <laughs> Every time I see that, I think of Walkham and Wise, <laughs> don't you? You can remember Walkham and Wise doing that. It's just lovely. Now, um, how long would you post? Oh. That looks like quite a lot of liquid in there. There's a lot of sugar in there, ain't it? A lot of sugar. So okay. what do? Quantities, roughly. I would say about half a litre of water. Yeah. And you want about three or four hundred grams of sugar. Okay. A little goes a long way. All right, okay. then. So it's just about a bit, just yeah. a, under a pint of water, three quarters of a pint of water. Together, and uh, quite a bit of sugar in there. Remember, you're making a stock right. syrup here, guys, so you do need a lot of sugar in there. But the great thing is you can probably keep that stock syrup. Well, it won't you? go off. It won't go keep off. Keep indefinitely. Great. OK. OK. So Jar that up. In that pan there, so I've got sugar and vanilla. Mm -hmm. OK, these bananas are quite underripe, so that's quite handy. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is just literally chop these up in nice big chunks. Yeah. I'm going to pop them straight in the caramel. Like OK, that. and that's like the that. sugar, the vanilla. Could you use vanilla extract or do you really need to use the uh, bit of um, vanilla there? No, no, you, vanilla can, you can use extract, but remember, if you're going to put extract in, put it in the mixture, not in there, because it evaporates, because extract is 90% alcohol. OK. OK. There you go. Good tip. So, here we've got oranges as well. Look, oranges yeah. in the ground. Orange zest makes a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. because it, it balances the sweetness of the sugar. Great. OK, okay so that's caramel. And what have you got Charles doing down oh, there? We're making some scones there. Just, yeah. This is the mixture of eggs, sugar, syrup, and Flour. Okay. A pinch of salt mm -hmm. cuts the sweetness. Okay. Okay, because it's quite sweet. All right then. I'm putting it. I'm putting it now. Yeah, okay, you better okay. put that in there. So, lots of lovely tips, guys. And don't forget, if you're probably thinking that looks fantastic, and it will do when it comes out of the oven, we have all of this available on our website for you. Check out the website. It's going across your screen now. And, of course, you can have a look at CFAX, too, right. for all of the recipes today. Yes. Yes. Lovely. Yep. All right, we've got uh, okay. about 14 minutes to go. So, so Charles Sorry. is uh, busy making the scones, is he? Yep. yep. Change, Freddie. Well, that's cool. We warm the tray up first. Oh, okay. We get that back into there like that. And we mm -hmm. toast the nuts with a bit of sugar. <laughs> okay. We like okay. a bit of toasted oats, don't we, Phil? That's it. Bring it together. There you Come go. Come on, Charles. Oh, oh, doing very well. Here. No, you're doing great, Charles. <laughs> Just keep mixing I it. I love a mess. Yeah. It's wonderful. <laughs> Is he any good at cooking at home, then? I've got to ask you, Angela. Please say uh, yes. He's very good. Very yeah. good. But it, it does take a long time. It's very precise. Mm. Is you that know, a good or a bad thing? Um, well... It's quite good. It, mm. it, everything he's made has turned out good. That's fantastic. What a nice compliment there from your wife. Yes. Lovely. She didn't say that when I was cooking the other day. Mm. Oh, really? Well, she's on TV now, isn't she, eh? <laughs> a bit, bit different. So, Charles, was it love at first sight? Did you... Because I know you knew oh, her before, but... It took me 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> was it worth the wait? It was that invitation to the dance that did it. Oh, really? She sent an email. Yes. Ah. And uh, we went to the dance and... I'm no looking back after that. Yeah. And did she dance well? We never got to the dance floor. Oh. <laughs> I was selling new calendars. <laughs> oh, really? You were busy selling calendars. And they sold remarkably well, though, haven't they? I'm just astonished. Here we are, a bit of flour there. It needs a bit more. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So what about the uh, naked calendar idea? What did you think of it? I thought it was absolutely super. Mm -hmm. It's uh, given uh, a new image to the older woman. Yeah. Which suits the older man, like mm -hmm. me. And a new image to the WIs too, you know. I think that they. Oh yeah, it was wonderful kind of seeing them do all those crafts with yeah. nothing on. Mm. But but well disguised. It's well disguised indeed. Wish and you were uh, my vicar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So how, how did Miss February down there? How did she cover up? She got her back to the camera. Ah. And playing the piano, Jerusalem. Oh. And did the countenance divine? It said. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> And do you naturally play the piano then, uh, Angela? Uh, I can play the piano, yes. A I little. And do you this. ever recite anything for Charles? <laughs> <laughs> no, because right. he's better than me. He's better yes, than you. Yes, he's better than me. Oh, lovely. Yep. Anyway, back to cooking, guys. Let's see what's uh, happening here. We want to see how they're getting on here. Tell us about what, uh, what you should be doing here, Phil, what right. Charles is right, doing. Right, Charles, that's perfect. Don't overwork it, don't overwork it. And then what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of flour on there and wait to roll it out. Yep. A bit of, I'll just do this, actually, if you don't mind. I'd rather Not that I don't trust you. <laughs> Here we are. Here's your hand. Get your hands uh, under there, Charles. Okay. Yeah, what do you mean by not overworking, well, Phil? Well, scone mix. Don't, you... don't need it too yeah, much. Yeah, if you overwork it, what happens is mm. the gluten works in come with a tough Here we are, mate. texture. Oh, there you go. You. That's oh, great. All right, then. And Just the good. two, or do you want more? No, well, as many as you can get out of there, please. Don't touch that tray. It's very There's hot, Charles. It's a very hot tray, so okay. you keep cutting that out. Okay. And away you go again. We'll and do you put sugar on top of them, Phil? Is that necessary? I'm going to put a little touch of sugar. Yeah. I'll get you a spoon. 
Maybe sugar. Here we are, Phil. Do you want to show no, us no, how much? No, no. OK, there you go. Just a little bit of that. Can you see how I'm doing yeah, that? Yeah, I can, yes. yes. So do you enjoy being in the limelight then, Charles? I certainly enjoy being here. Yeah. And and you've, uh, done, you've done a bit. You've met uh, Prince Charles and Camilla. We had you? a wonderful day at... Uh, where is it? Clarence House, he lives, yeah. doesn't it? They couldn't have been nicer. They were very friendly, very welcoming. And, mm. and of course, the prince said, Angela will make a perfect vicar's wife. Oh, never and was she a truer word spoken. And she does. Absolutely. I'll switch that off you. you. Do with the show. Lovely <laughs> talking to you. All sorts of things happening here, no, ladies and not. gentlemen. I don't quite know what's uh, going on that's here. That's caramel. Plain just caramel. caramel. OK, that's the sugar just cooked down, yeah. and it's going to make a lovely caramel. We've got that beautiful that's infusion there of... Uh, all those lovely flavours going with the cherries. The sea. Oh, look at that. What did you thicken this with, Phil? Just a touch of arrowroot or cornflour, Ains. There you go. Nothing now, else. Now, arrowroot's going to keep it uh, transparent. The cornflour's going to make it a little bit really cloudy. Hot. But you'll still get the same thickening effect, all right? We've got a little bit of rum in there. Right, and that's the cherries with their juice now, in the tin. Cream Just into past there. halfway, about nine that and a half to go. Let's go back down and see how Leslie's okay. getting on well, down here. She's with okay. Angela in the green pepper kitchen. And we've got a bit of a chutney going here, have we, Les? We've got the chutney going. We're going to need some Brown sugar, actually, Ames. Can yeah, you go and grab some more? Yeah, yeah, and top love that here. Yeah, just yeah. That's right. It. Yeah. That's it. There we are, yeah, my love. Shall I just grab hold of that for you? OK, bit of brown sugar going in here. Bit of brown here. sugar going on in there. Lovely. Do you want to have a look in the um, oven, Ames? Because yeah. the pizza has gone in. OK, yeah. let's um, have a look at that. With a bit of tomato puree and cooked spinach mm -hmm. going on in there. Wow. Well, this is smelling look good. Look at this, guys. I have to say, this is very, very impressive. Tell us what went in there. Um, basically, it's just olive oil. I want to swap boards with you. All right. Look um, at that. Self-raising flour herb dough yeah. with some milk, and then I cook the spinach down and spread it with some tomato puree seasoned with a hit of ketchup and a bit of garlic, and then put the cooked spinach on the top. OK, no excuses, guys, at home. If you've kids fancy a bit of pizza, you don't need to put the uh, spinach and sultanas on top of it. You can put your ham, cheese, anything you want at all. Just make the basic dough. So have a look at that website and get it all going. We've got lovely chicken here that's been marinated, and uh, that's just been sorted off, is it, nice and gently, Leslie? Yeah, absolutely. OK, we've got some nice bits of bread going and there. A bit more spinach coming spinach out. I'm going to need for the soup. And if we can just clear it, just give it a quick wash for me for the soup. Yeah. Okay, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Well, let's get all the of that out of the way. I know how to turn the top on. Just give it a quick wash. Yeah. And we're going to make mm. the sesame dressing, which is here. I put the whole bit of the orange in. I'll take it out, but you'll get the essence of the orange, of the flavour of the orange. Okay. All oh, right. Now, now, how did your lovely man over there propose to you in the end? Um, well, it was Easter time. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he gave me a box of Easter eggs. And attached to the Easter egg was some string. Oh, yeah. And so I went to the end of the string, and at the end of the string was an engagement ring. What a lovely And touch. I screamed, <laughs> like this. Oh, and he God. said that the Easter eggs and the ring yeah. come, come with strings attached. And that's me. Oh. Will you marry me? Oh. <laughs> Mr Smooth! <laughs> that is fantastic. Where did you learn that from, Charles? <laughs> Probably from Angela. Oh, what a lovely thing. Isn't that is nice? he a romantic man, then? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yes, he's very kind. And, lovely. Yes. And you've, but you've, you've travelled all over, haven't you? Just doing um, so much. What was it like doing the Jay Leno show and oh, the going Jay off Leno to Cannes and places like that? Jay Leno oh, show was... the Stuart as well. Yeah. Sorry, I, I know! <laughs> No. The Jay Leno show was brilliant. He yeah. was really good to us. And mm. we were there on his 50th birthday, mm. so it was a very special night. Uh, Cannes was brilliant because they released our film, mm. Cannes of the Girls, in Cannes, and it just went down a storm, so sure. that was really good. And you saw and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of calendars yes, across America. Yeah. It's extraordinary how far this, this has reached, isesn't it? And how, it is, how much yeah. is, Would you do it again, though? Would I do it again? I think there's one more calendar mm. left in us, I think. Mm. Yeah, even though it's seven years on it. Uh, we probably need bigger props to, sure. to cover it up. Because <laughs> we've, we've, we've got bigger as the years have gone on. Brian Turner would need a house, <laughs> wouldn't he, eh? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. the film Calendar Girls, obviously, uh, did you feel that they were exploiting your, your lifestyle to a degree, or did you, were, you, were you happy to kind of let them make a film? Well, at first, it, it was a really hard decision to make because mm. it was my story, my, you know, John had died and everything. But I knew that when we met the producers, had the pictures, that they 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 would do it right mm. and oh. and they did and it was uh, great it's a fabulous yeah. movie. i've seen we, it several we, times we worked yeah. with them for four and a half years mm -hmm. you know with the making of the film and who and played your part was it uh, julie walters julie yeah, walters she was just and, and 75 percent of the film is true yeah uh, the bit that isn't true i mean wi have given us great um encouragement and they've been with us all the way mm -hmm. and 
And a lot of WI ladies, and of course, went to see the may it film. continue, yes. especially. And the leukaemia research is still oh, very much happening. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Yes, yeah. we're about £150,000 into our next million. Wow, so, wow. And, that's fantastic. and you've already built a unit, haven't you? Yes, for a, a unit. unit. Yes, that's right. Fantastic. Yes. Isn't that lovely? Brilliant. <laughs> we'll talk again. Brilliant. Okay, okay. Okay, now Leslie's got all that chicken. Can you get the sesame seeds for us, babe? Yes, sesame seeds. That'll be fantastic. There we are. Give that a bit of a yeah. sprinkle on top oh, of that yeah. chicken. There we are. Spinach going in, there and you we go. need. And toss those around. Absolutely. Okay, now remember that was marinated. Remember the soy sauce that went in there. Yeah. And just you come and watch this, my darling. Yeah, there we are. Use that. Just toss those around a little yeah. bit. We'll because the uh, sesame seeds will release the oils and that yeah. will start to toast up beautifully. Yeah, nice. Okay, remember the marinade. What went in there again, Anne? Oh, heavens. Um, <laughs> soy sauce. Soy sauce. Oh, uh, soy sauce. Uh, some, some kind of oil. Some kind, yeah, sesame oil. <laughs> That's it. Sesame oil. Uh, and a lime. A lime juice. juice. A lime. Yeah, any sugar or anything like that, honey uh, or anything? No, I don't think so. A little bit of honey oh, went honey. in there I didn't as well. That. Yeah. Um, Chutney looks really fabulous. Ooh, That's coming down there, Liz. Nice. I'm just tossing that together. That's leek and sultana How chutneys are coming How are we doing for time, my darling? Okay. You've got four minutes to oh, go, oh, and so we'll get that on there. All okay. right, then. Okay. Fabulous. Let's get back eggs. down here again. Let's Ten find minutes. out how things are you going. Want, back in the red tomato kitchen. Remember, all those things were happening, and Phil talked about snow eggs. Do you remember that, snow eggs? Here they are, Phil. Yep. Tell us all about your snow eggs. Right. Meringue. Uh huh. Cooked very quickly. Uh, whipped very quickly, I should say. Yeah. And what you do is you over slightly over whip it so it's slightly firmer. Yeah. This water is mustn't boil, it's just poach about 90 degrees. Yeah. And you drop your meringue in. You can also put a touch of cornflour mm -hmm. to hold it. And you have this beautiful cooked meringue. Look at that. Okay, cornflour goes into the meringue mix, exactly. not into the water. Yeah, exactly. And uh, not only that, guys, a lot of you don't have thermometers at home, so that's just. Don't let it Watch boil. Off. So basically, as it comes up and you can see it gets really, really hot, then you can poach those off. Mm. And they're wonderful. A bit of creme anglaise or something on top of those with a bit of vanilla. Oh, it really is quite delicious. All right, the scones are coming out now. There they are, with a bit of toasted um, oh, oats milk. on top. Oh, yeah. And we've got the lovely caramel on top of the paper there. We've got three minutes to go. Now, even when you go on holiday, Reverend Charles, your job doesn't stop. It goes with you, doesn't it? And you were very kind enough to... You remarried a couple or something? What's the right expression? We were on holiday in Tanzania, mm -hmm. um, anticipating our wedding by having our honeymoon first. Yeah. And we, we met various other couples who were celebrating either their wedding yeah. or a couple celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary, and they said they hadn't been able to arrange to renew their vows. And when they mentioned it for the fourth time, <laughs> um, I said, well, Angela's a registrar and I'm a vicar. Yeah. We'll do, do it. it for you if you want yeah. us to. And so we went up in the hot air balloon the next day, came down, they gave us a glass of champagne, and I fortunately remembered the words, which is more than Angela did at our wedding. <laughs> did she forget? <laughs> she forgot. <laughs> Angela, shame on you! What did I you know, forget, I'm darling? Sorry. I I we wanted to say our vows without the uh, vicar saying them. And uh, I did it perfectly well at the rehearsal. And then on the day, I, I, I completely and utterly forgot my lines. And you did forgive her, though, didn't you, Charles? Of course I forgave her. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad it was her and not me. Oh, look. Only four. Do you want all peach, all the apricots well, in there? All the apricots. All yeah, the, fill it up with juice. Bit. Yeah, fill it up with juice. Go on. Just can pour, I pour it? it? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. can. Don't go too mad. There you go. That's lovely. Yeah, that'll be great. Look at that broth there. Let's push that down so we get that lovely one nestled on the top. That's lovely. Banana, a bit of a banana orange tatan type thing going there. We've got our lovely snow eggs nestled on top. We've also got them on top of the lovely uh, glazed berries there. Everything's coming together quite well. What's that there, Phil? What happened? There's a bit of caramel's left. Mm. A bit of sugar. Can you take the pizza out for me? Yeah. Take the okay, pizza out pouring of the that over the, the top. Just yeah. yes, look at those guys. Really, lots of lovely flavours. All sorts yeah, of things happening here. Here. Start clearing down. Do help yourself to a glass of red or white wine. Les has come out with a delightful leek chutney there. With wait, the... sec, oh, wait. look at that. They just look fantastic. Go on, Les. Pop that on the top there. I'll just hold that there for you. That looks lovely. A little bit of balsamic yeah, over the top. OK, just a, a touch. I'll get a bit of balsamic for you. OK, we've got 30 seconds. Audience, you're voting for what the chef did the, the ingredients they were given. I've got the balsamic board here, over there. and we're just going to drizzle a little bit of that on the top. Not too much. Just a touch. Great way of using all these things up. All right, then. I need that chopping board. Audience, remember you're voting for what the chefs did with the ingredients. Which is me. Nine, eight, <laughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exciting, isn't it?
all sorts of wonderful food, great guests, and of course, they had ingredients to start with. And Leslie had a chicken supreme, a large potato, a bag of spinach, a leek, some brie and sultanas, whilst Phil Vickery had a bag of rolled oats, some mascarpone cheese, a bananas, tin cherries, fresh apricots and a miniature bottle of rum. And now we're ready to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> OK, I yeah, hope you said great. Go on, pick up your... <laughs> Pick up your cutlery. Like... Oh, I can't wait for this. Now, Liz, what are you going to call this? I think we're going to call this. This Miss February is supreme. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Get some chicken on there. Mm. Okay. Uh, and what did you do with all your mm. lovely ingredients? What we did was well, first oh, of all, Emma. this we mm, used spinach. all the spinach. We had a big mm -hmm. bag of spinach. Yeah. So we did a very simple spinach salad with an oriental dressing, soy mm. sauce, sesame mm. oil, yeah, a little bit of garlic, mm. yeah. Then we marinated the chicken in similar Delicious. ingredients with some honey, <coughs> pan fried it, sesame seeds on towards the end, sit it on top, eat Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Then with the rest of the spinach, we made a very, very simple soup, which I probably haven't seasoned correctly, so I'm going to put a little mm. bit of salt on there for you. Yeah. Um, mm. And we simmered the bone, added the potato, mm. made the soup, and then whizzed in the uncooked spinach towards the end right. for the spinach So it's more like a potato. Delicious. Soup, oh, it looks a little delicious. gloppy there, doesn't it? But no, it's, it's gloppy. Would well, you know what I mean? It's <laughs> the starchy. No, because yeah. the starch mm. comes the starch out of the potato. The starch is a thing, and you need that in the spinach soup to give it the thickness. Okay. Yeah, that Beautiful. is delicious. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then, then also what we did was to make this dough here, and we've got the eggs so that they're just kind of still nice and yolky. With the rest of the spinach, we wilted it in olive oil, and then we made just a very simple olive oil dough, mm. and then basically put tomato puree on the bottom with some garlic, yeah, the wilted well. spinach, pick it up with your fingers, oh, it's the easiest thing. Oh, well. The wilted spinach went on the top Thank you. and it was baked in the oven. Mm. Oh, lovely. Mm. Okay. And then mm. the final thing is this, which is just the brie. You have to use your fingers on this mm. as well. I know. It's just brie on toast with leek and sultana chutney, which we just made mm. in the pan. What do you think? Just <laughs> fantastic. I think it's fantastic. Oh, Everything. Lovely. Brilliant. I, it, she did it so quick, I never saw her do that. I never saw her make the pastry. <laughs> I know. Fantastic. I know. You're used to a man taking his time in the kitchen, <laughs> aren't you? I am. <laughs> there you go, Charles. And uh, your turn to get stuck yeah, into Charles. it. Mm, Did, didn't you want you. to make Swiss rolls uh, 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 for Angela? Make I didn't want to, but it was a competition. And where did you come? The first one was like a leg of lamb because the um, the tent. Charles, tin. where did you come? I came first. Oh, did yeah. you? Oh, top man. Well, first and second. First and second. <laughs> <laughs> but only because I rejected the first one. Well, you Can I try some? <laughs> Phil, what are you going to call this? OK. <laughs> oh. mm. OK, good? here we go. Oh, more than good. This joint vicary concoction, oh. wait for it, concoction, will soon be scone, but not forgotten. Ah. Yay! <laughs> Excellent. Both our chefs are Look really full of everything today, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> including good food. Go How like did this. you make your food, Phil? Oh. Tell well, us let's briefly. just start here. We had this muffin with caramel, mm. lots of orange, lots of vanilla, lots of bananas. And if you just look at that, and that cooked for about 10 minutes in the same pan, mm. but look, how, look how light that is. It's beautiful. It's completely soaked through with caramel. Mm. Well, it's delicious. Mm. Um, here we made scones, or Charles made um, um, a syrup scones with honey and... Uh, sorry, you can make scones. that at home, can't you? Because mm. you, you saw how eggs, everything went in. Mascarpone to make a bit we had a honey cream to go the top. Okay, look how light they are. Look how mm. light they are. Beautiful. Oh, I'm better than I thought. Mm. Better than I thought. Mm. Here we are, Charles. Oh, okay. Sorry. Here. Oh. There we are. We poached. <laughs> we poached the apricots whole. Give me one of those. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I should do, shouldn't I? <laughs> Here we go. No. <laughs> we poached the apricots. Vicar chokes on ready, steady, cool. <laughs> I can see the headlines now, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> So, we poached it with a light strip. I'm trying to be sensible here. Yes. We poached it with a light strip with limes and lots of sugar. Mm. Uh, here, we just literally thickened the cherries because they're perfect. We made floating islands, which we topped with caramel, and that is just a meringue, which is just on there as well. Mm. And here... Lovely. Very quick, mm. Phil. Toasted cream, uh, blah, 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 blah. Lovely. Sugar. All available on our website. Overall, what do you think, Charles? Wonderful. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. Well, they've both mm. been amazing. Both our chefs have been amazing. Mm. But who will be amazed by the results from our studio audience? Is it going to be a green pepper day or a red tomato one? Will you all please vote now? Wow. Ooh. Well, up they go and have a look at this. It's quite a close one. But there are a few more. Red tomatoes! Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations.
Thank you very much, Phil. Well done, my man. Best man. Brilliant. And, of course, you're the winner, so you get £100. Ah, thank you. And I believe you're going to donate that to someone? We're going to give it to Leukaemia Research. Lovely. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely life. Yeah, that was great. Mm. Yes. Win or lose, you've ended up with some well, lovely food absolutely. here, haven't you? And I've had a brilliant time. Yeah. You, you just don't realise how fast the time goes and, mm. and what does. you do in the time and what you can do with what you're given is amazing. Oh, thank you. That's yeah, nice, so isn't it, Les? And we great. really enjoyed your company. You don't go away empty-handed. We've got a lovely ready steady cook hamper. Thank you. So you and Charles can get in the kitchen and create some more Swiss <laughs> rolls. <laughs> <laughs> haven't they been fantastic, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Angela Bacon, Reverend Charles Knoll. <laughs> Wow, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at these. We've got some lovely of the old lipped mussels, blue lipped mussels there. There we've got this little uh, green lipped mussel. Sorry, I said blue. Mm. We've got some Thai curry or green curry paste here in this jar. That's very nice. Coconut. Ooh. Ooh, coconut. <laughs> Potatoes. Oh. <laughs> Right, mango, <laughs> shallots, and as you said, Phil, coconut. Have you finished? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only just. I had to squeeze me mango first. <laughs> OK, okay. Uh, Les, what would you do with this little lot? Oh, blimey. Um, right, OK. I would do... Um, I would make... Two things with the coconut. Mm -hmm. I would do a Thai style mussels, yeah. like a more marinier but Thai style. And I would do a sort of Thai style. I'd do everything Thai style, actually, because mm. I think we've got quite a lot of paste here. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> a type of um, tortilla. I would also do griddled mango with coconut custard. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> put, put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> What do you think, Phil? God, where do I go from there? I think um, what I would do is I'd take half the mussels out and make a moucoulade, which is a, mm. a French-style um, mussel soup, but mm -hmm. we'd have to put Thai curry paste in it mm -hmm. and wash the coconut. <laughs> lots and lots of basil. The other half I'd probably break around and put under the grill to warm them through with the garlic mm -hmm. cream. Um, shallots and potatoes, we'd just throw those in the bin and then we'll... Um, <laughs> and we'll chop the mango, we'll eat the mango, that's it. No, seriously, yeah. we'll probably put some of that into a bit of the soup. Potatoes, I'm going to push for time on those, I don't Dice know. Dice them up, put them in the soup, Phil? Possibly, yeah, yeah. and the mango will... I think we might make a smoothie. A little bit of a smoothie, yeah. a nice mango smoothie. Okay, lots coconut. and lots of lovely ideas from both our chefs. Once again, I'm asking the audience to help us out here. So, what's going to be green peppers or red tomatoes? Will you all please vote now? And they pop up there, Ooh, and yes. it looks like they <laughs> want Leslie to do lots with her Thai curry face. All right, Les, let's get cooking. Your 10 minutes cooking time starts now. Let's do it. Okay, let's get these potatoes going with the tortilla. Okay. I, I, feel I want you to make me um, a coconut custard yep. to take eight or as many as you okay. need of those. I want the rest back. Okay. Um, and to do your grilled one for the yep, crumb nice. on. Yeah, that's okay, for your uh, mango. All right, and I um, you want a bit of And I need a pan mango. on for my sauce. All right, then, lovely, Liz. Here. I'll do that for you. And. And what are you going to be doing, my love? And I'm going to be making the Thai sauce uh -huh. which, and that's the that's tortillas, enough, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. These mussels are already cooked. They're from New Zealand originally, you know. And uh, I believe that the extracts from it are really good for arthritis. Really? Yeah, those little um, green-tipped uh, mussels. Lipped mussels, I see tipped, lipped, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, one thing you must do with Thai curry paste is when you buy it, is always taste it first because they differ in strengths. Do they really? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How different is that then, Liz? <laughs> Ooh, baby, that's hot. <laughs> and obviously we want it hot, and the mussels have got quite a lot of flavour, so they can take it, you know? Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get a little bit of oil in there and just... Get that pan fried. Mm. Any more um, um, coconut there, Phil? How much do you need? Mm. I need uh, oh, probably about half of what you've got there. Do you want it whisked up? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. Do you make your own curry paste ever, Liz? Yeah, I do. And the great thing about it is, is that if you're vegetarian, Ains, yeah. um, I need some wooden spoons here. If you're vegetarian, then what you can do is... I'm going to put some oil in here for you, Ains. Is to... Yeah, um, you go for it, darling. I'm just dicing these up really small. Often in Thai curry paste is shrimp paste, so it, it's not vegetarian. Vegetarian, basically. Okay. So I use shallot, ginger, sometimes galangal, kaffir lime leaf, lemongrass, 
um, garlic, shallot, and I hit the switch and I, you can make a vegetarian one. Ah, and it lovely freezes paste. really, really well. Okay, can interesting. Can I just put those in yeah, for you? Yeah, of course you can, my darling. I'll just top Because we just need to get those going. We bit. need to get the eggs going. Um, right, we've got lots of little bits of potato. And I use Thai curry paste in all sorts of things, Ains. I mean, it's... Let's it. It's, thanks, darling. It's really good in a potato salad in mayonnaise. Oh, um, you know, a hint of that. It's great if you've got a hangover. Yeah. Um, with um, put it in an omelette, you know, which is what we're going to do now. <laughs> I thought you were going to say put it in vodka or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we could, we could. OK, then. Right, so right. we need a lid on that, don't we? We just need to get some heat going on that, yeah, just so okay. that, um, that we can put that in our little tortilla pan. So you've got a wooden okay. spoon or fork for that. Um, this. Whatever, give that a stir. Yeah. And I'm going to get some... Cr I just want to toast off the Thai curry paste. OK, now you talked about the mango. What do you want, just slices of mango Slices there? of thick mango going in there with some lime, maybe a bit of honey to get some, um, some colour on there. And then if Phil's got time, I don't know if he has, but if we've got any leftover mango around the stone, he can make a smoothie. I've, got, I've just taken a bit of the stone off there, darling, but that doesn't matter. No. I'm sort of cutting through there. OK. OK, right, so... uh, Phil, tell, about, uh, tell us about coconut uh, custard, please. Coconut custard, dead easy. Pint of milk. Um, pint of milk, th three egg yolks, coconut milk and sugar to taste, that's it. You boil up the milk and the, and the coconut together. Be careful because it will stick, because uh -huh. of the fat content. And uh, what I'm going to do is just what we call make a liaison, which is uh, a couple of egg yolks, a little pinch of corn flour. Yeah. OK, just about that much, just to hold it. And you just, when the, the um, milk comes to the boil, we just literally take it off the heat and just whisk in the egg yolks and corn flat and it'll thicken to a custard. Oh, it? beautiful, beautiful. Okay. okay, another lovely uh, tip coming along there. Oh, that looks good, Ains. Okay, I'm right, just going to sprinkle a little thai... sugar in there. I'll hit it with a bit of lime juice. All right, in let's moment. get some Thai paste in there. Okay. Yeah, a bit more, Ains. What do you reckon? Yeah, just a touch more. If you like it hot. Yeah. There we are. Okay. Okay. Give those a little okay. bit of a stir. So you won't uh, need salt in there. Mm -hmm. We need to get those kind of... Bit of fresh thyme of... in there, Les, or anything? Oh, yeah. I think that sounds Ooh, quite nice. Yeah. Those little pans are really heating up. What do you want yeah. in there, Les? Well, I want the potatoes in there. Yeah. Um, how soft do you reckon those potatoes are at the moment? Let's eat one Let's and see. They are. should be getting quite soft. Yeah. Get the mm. lid back on. Bit, bit crunchy. A bit longer with the uh, lid. Just a touch get of... Get a just... bit of heat on there. Just a touch, touch of heat. Touch of water. Just a bit of heat and there just... There you go. Half you know, obviously, if you've got a lid on something, then it's going to cook. Let's turn these pans off, cos they're rocking, beyond mm. rocking. OK. OK, this sauce is doing nicely. OK, um, sugar's looking good. I'm just going to taste this. How are we doing here? I've right. got some rosemary. What about rosemary. those mussels? How do, what do you want those? They're cooked. I'm just going to lay them in there towards the end. I don't want them to overcook. OK, very quick question. Um, Phil, do you want a hand with that, Chef? No. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Yeah. My hands are greasy. My hands are greasy. Yeah. All right, there we are. <laughs> OK, we're going to get a bit of breadcrumbs on here and then we're going to pop those into the oven. There we are. <laughs> You've got grease all <laughs> over it, you feel. Oh, mate. Oh, Phil, are you all right there, mate? Yeah. What's going on? I don't know what he's done in here. Hey. I can't get the lid off. Oh, well, we've only got four minutes to go. I'll put mine in the grill, sir. <laughs> what the fuck's going on? What's happened to it? Hey, I'm single. Les, know. can you get that off for us? Go on, woman power, come on, yeah! Go on, Les, I encourage can't her. I can't get it off, I can't get it off, Ains. Phil, so what did you put on there? I Super don't glue? Know. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, leave it, leave it. Oh dear. Thanks, Ainsley. Yeah. Hey! Oh, no. There you go. You Three and a half minutes to go. You took your time there, mate, didn't you? I, uh, <laughs> I'll give you time, Phil. I have a very quick question here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon. It comes from Gillian Wils uh, Williamson via email. Good afternoon to you, Gillian. I'm currently living in Spain, and although the Spanish quite like spicy food, we really struggle to find green and red chilies where we live. When we do manage to get hold of them, we use them straight away or dry them. Is there a successful way of freezing them as well as other herbs? Um, Philip Vickery. Phil Vickery. Um, so what I would do, I would chew them up in a liquidizer. Yeah. And then I would add a, enough oil, Ains. I'm listening to, to, to make you. a paste. Yeah. And then I. Put them into ice cream oh, containers. Uh, uh, sorry, ice cube trays. Oh, yes. Put them in the freezer and then they'll freeze in little blocks and just keep them in the freezer. And as you need them, just take them out. Oh, but not very nice. Stop it freezing too hard. Okay. 
Yeah, and what about other herbs and stuff like that? You... <laughs> exactly the same. Exactly, exactly the, the same. same. Way, I would say that you could actually uh, blanch them if you want, uh, Gillian. Put them into uh, blanch them. Put them into a really clean, sterilised jar, and then put olive oil on top of them. That will preserve them too. That's not actually sort of freezing them down. And uh, regarding other herbs, there's some that freeze really well. There's some that don't. There's a few things like you put basil in it. It just loses it. We change totally. the water, doesn't it? Absolutely. So do be careful of that. Um, so really, two minutes to go, guys. OK, Ames, Let's, uh, quickly this, go is the, um, this is the sauce. Do you want to taste it, actually? Because I, I think it's really nice. It's the co here, I'll make yeah. coconut. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of lime in there. Yeah. Just just yeah. very, very oh. lightly heating. A bit of coriander through there at the last minute, Ains. OK, yes. Yeah. And we're Put some lime in There's, there. What do you want your custard? I want oh. the custard in That's there. Lovely. Put the in that really does. It's got that in lovely two. green Thai influence. A bit more like a sort of green Thai curry that we, we, we know about, ladies coriander. and gentlemen. Coriander. Coriander with the root, too. Don't be frightened of the root going yeah. in there. That's really where a lot of the flavour is. And if you go to Thailand, That's ready. They, they put a lot of the... Uh, they use a lot of the root in their cooking. Look at that. That's lovely. That's cooking okay, down. Right, what do you want ready? with the... Uh... Right, the custard is coming over slightly now. Light. So it's, it's coming light, over. Those. And you want these nestled it looks on the top? It's on there. Light. OK, there, there, there we are. Go. Thank you very much indeed, Phil. I'll just that's turn those lovely. over. I like that caramelised look. And that's just bits of mango floating in there like that. OK. Looking beautiful. Look at that. There we are. 45 seconds to go now, guys. Let's get this out. There we are. Beautiful. Cloths. Mm. Cloths. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks um, stunning, are you happy Ains? with that, Les? Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely, okay. lovely. Fantastic. And we've got 30 seconds to go. A little bit of mint patch, just a little uh, shredded mint on the top of that. We'll just finish that off beautifully. Out come our little tortillas. Ta oh, you've got to turn that out. Okay, 20 <laughs> seconds. I need to another go. cloth. There you go. There you go. All right, Les. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, start! Thank you. Yeah, give me a fly there, darling. Oh. So I'll tip these out. Tip them out, careful, okay. they're hot, OK, hot. oh, they are a bit hot, but I'll go for it. What are you going to call this, then, Liz? I think it's, if at first you don't succeed, tie, tie again. Yeah. <laughs> Well done. There we Excellent. are. Now. OK, thanks, Haynes. That's all right, my darling. How did you do it, Les? Well, how did we all do it? Right, mm. first of all, this was just very simple. Thai mm. paste with um, mm, a little bit of the shallot and mm. then basically oh, the cream, mm. a little bit of wine and the coconut. Mm -hmm. And then I just dropped these little fellas in just about a minute or two just to heat them through. This was just Thai potatoes, potatoes mm. fried off in the Thai paste and then little tortillas mm. made. And then Phil mm -hmm. made the custard. Very easy, pint of milk. About two ounces or 55 grams of coconut, a bit of sugar, cut the veggies to thicken it, a bit of coconut. Mm. You made the beautiful mango. Yeah, and I sprinkled a little bit of sugar on it, and of course you could squeeze a little touch of lime juice on top of those just to finish them off. And of course, mm. Phil popped a little bit of toasted crumb on top of those. And if you've Got missed it. any of the recipes, they are available on our website. Indeed, check out CFAX from the uh, mm. lovely Les, Phil, and myself. See you soon on Ready, Steady, Cook. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah, bye, -bye.